In an interview to Bloomberg TV, India's chief of defense staff has dismissed Pakistan's claim that it downed six Indian jets as absolutely incorrect. He also said that while Indian jet was down, but again after two days, India flew all fighter jets targeting multiple Pakistani air bases at long ranges, and this statement means that the aircraft was down and not shot down, and was rectified within two days and all fighter jets were flown again to strike Pakistani targets at long ranges. Pakistan downed uh, an Indian jet, or in fact more than that. It, can you confirm? Uh, I think what is important is that uh, not the jet being down, but why they were being down. The good part is that we are able to understand the tactical mistake which we made, remedy it, rectify it, and then implement it again after two days and flew all our jets, again targeting at long range, which I said. Six Indian jets were downed. Is it correct in that estimate? Absolutely incorrect. And that is not information which I said is important. What is important is what, uh, why they went down. That is more important for us. And what did we do after that? That's more important. Russia has firmly denied the signing of any multi-billion dollar deal with Pakistan, and accused elements in Pakistan of trying to disrupt the strong India-Russia strategic partnership. After the $1 billion IMF bailout to Pakistan, the World Bank has unveiled a $40 billion investment plan for Pakistan. US President Donald Trump has once again publicly claimed credit for brokering the ceasefire between India and Pakistan, while India has once again denied any link between US tariffs and the ceasefire with Pakistan. Pakistani analysts are pitching the 400 km range PL-17 missile for their J-10C, even when the J-10C doesn't has the radar capability to guide the PL-17 beyond 250 km. After losing confidence in Chinese air defense radar systems, Pakistan Air Force is now planning to integrate the 600 km range Turkish ALP-300G long-range radar, and the 40 km range HISA missile defense system. Mazagin dock ship builders will sign the contract for three additional enhanced Calvary class submarines for the Indian Navy in June 2025. Cochin Shipyard has laid the keel of the eighth and the last anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft for the Indian Navy. The DRDO has signed a licensing agreement for transfer of technology with Ni Bay Limited for the Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launcher and the battery command post. The Indian Navy will conduct naval exercises with the European Union in the Indian Ocean from tomorrow. Brazilian aircraft manufacturer Embraer will establish a fully owned Indian subsidiary today, which will have its office in Aero City New Delhi. Hindustan Aeronautics has received the first center fuselage assembly for the Tejas Mark 1A from private sector firm VEM Technologies in Hyderabad. India's gas turbine research establishment has received approval for integrating the dry cavalry engine with a newly developed afterburner by Brahmos Aerospace. The Indian Army has issued a request for information for the procurement of lightweight and portable man-pack counter unmanned aerial systems, that can detect track and neutralize hostile drones in real time during tactical operations. India's Tejas Mark 1A variant has transitioned to the advanced Helbit Dash 5 helmet mounted display system, moving away from the Dash 4 helmets currently used on the Tejas Mark 1, that offers improved features over its predecessor. The DRDO in collaboration with India's private defense sector, has embarked on an ambitious project to develop the low-cost, low-cost unmanned area swarm technology, which is a swarm of drones with integrated payloads, designed to be launched from Indian Air Force transporters such as the C-130J Super Hercules and C-295. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.